Hi everybody, it's Julie, and today we're going to go ahead and I am going to make my cover because I need the pages. <laughs> Otherwise, I would be trying to give you something besides making a cover, but I'm really excited because this cover includes this um, jacket, which is going to be a lot of fun to use, and so... I love, I love this, I love this book. So, um, you want to make sure that your book comes apart from the, the edge here and mine does, thank goodness. So, um, now remember in your, you can use what you need to use to be able to make your cover. Okay. So if you need to use an X-Acto knife, you can use an X-Acto knife. You are able to use your chipboard piece. I'm going to actually use junk to make my, um, to make the, the special part of my cover. So here we go. We're just going to go ahead. I'm again, I'm using my X-Acto knife or craft knife my house it was always an exacto knife my dad was a draftsman and designer so and a graphic artist so this well this is a tool that i i grew up with right here i'm excited to have these pages to be able to make um tags also so usually your inside cover pages will be a little thicker than um other pages so now I have my book and I'll be able to one of the things I needed to measure um, for cutting pages and I was you know ready to start making stuff okay so I'm gonna go ahead and you see how this book is constructed we're gonna do the same thing again but we're gonna make it bigger okay so um, you can see the the chipboard piece that they've used here, the book board, is pretty thick. So I have up here, um, these are, these are board from the back of a, oops, of a book. And if this one's tall enough, is this one tall enough? Because look at how, look how thick that board is okay so just grabbing board from the back of your coloring book your um, ah, they fell out okay so let's put them back um, you will be able to use that and then of course now I've got another little dilly bobber I can use too. But this is thick and um, then I don't have to glue two pieces together. Now it might be interesting cutting it, but we will see. Let me make sure I'm still, oh, I'm all, well, my book is just crooked. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go ahead and cut this off. And so we can use our metal ruler, okay, just to help us along. And again, our X-Acto knife. Make sure your blades are sharp. Don't don't try and do this with dull blades, you guys. Okay, so. And we'll turn this one and I am going to keep my book cover I'm gonna do something with it but I'm gonna keep my book cover so whoop. I'm not gonna cover it with fabric I um, especially on a just junk journal that's one of the things that I I like to do so uh, let's see so show you here this is how thick the book board was in there and look at they had a thin piece and a thick piece 
Okay, so this is my cover, my front, so it needs to come over to this side. This is my back, so it needs to come over to this side. Oh, first we need to, sorry, first we need to cut our, our board. Okay, and let's check this, and oh my gosh, it's like perfect. Just absolutely perfect. Now, you know, I need at least two inches to, <laughs> for my journals, right? So we're going to go to, um, oh, do we want to do two and a half? Yeah, we'll do it. Let's do two and a half. Okay. So this, the reason I chose this cutter is it will cut through um, quite quite a thickness we're on make sure we're on two and a half okay so I can go ahead and give it a bend oh. <laughs> put it at two and a half again from the other making sure I was on the other side sometimes you know okay so two and a half Look at there. Okay, so I have my my new spine. Yay! I am so excited. Okay, so um, okay, so we want to get all little particles and things out of our way, and um, and then I want to clean uh, clean this up. Clean both of those up. Make sure that they're they don't have stuff hanging off. We can save this, and we might use it in the journal somewhere. You just never know. Okay, lining it up. Okay, so I like this. Okay, I think this is amazing. Um, I think I want to put a pocket on the inside. Okay, so we'll be okay. If I put this in and make this a pocket here or a tuck, um, oh, like this maybe, um, ooh, we do that. Okay, we're going to do that. We're going to put this in here. We're going to put it in before we put down the um, the fabric. And this was a card someone someone gave me a bunch of card basically card parts. Okay, so let's go ahead and I put my pen in here for today because it kept uh, drying up. We're, we're dry today, so everything's drying up. Okay. I'm going to give this more than I usually would because it is a standalone pocket here. And, okay, there we go trying to center it and that's going to give me a pocket now I'm going to come back and um, fix fix that okay so I'll come back and fix that but I but this will give me a pocket over here okay I love it love it okay so now my fabric that I have is it? Oh, good. I was like, is it going to be wide enough? Um, okay, so now we're going to go ahead. This is taken care of. We're going to go ahead and turn this all over. We're going to start with the front cover. Who 
likes making covers? I do and I don't. So um, I have I happen to have the <coughs> black grid board out. So you know what? This is this might be. No, nah, it's okay. 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 Um, okay. So is either side been torn? Of course not. So we're gonna go ahead and tear this. I can save that and use it later. Pull the fray, pulling the fray off. Okay. Then we'll come over here. On the back, we're going to lose that one birdhouse, but that's okay, right? It has to be. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so we have that and that. Okay, so we are ready. We have our. This is the one that we're using from the bottom, right? Does this one work from the bottom? Yay, then we can throw this one away, okay? <laughs> least have that on there and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sand down this area and that will hopefully make it not so glossy so that it will grab on I don't know kind of I kind of like it I think I might rough up the whole book kind of like it. I don't know. I do. I, I like it because it makes it look, makes it look old. What do you think? I would, you could try this if you have a shiny book. Oh, I love it. Of course, now I have <laughs> grindy. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, so we'll go ahead and let's glue this one down and then we'll sand the other side. Okay, let's go ahead and put this book on the line. We're going to leave about a quarter of an inch space here. We'll use the new one. We don't want to be here forever, right? Okay. So there we go. And figure out how far over we go. Okay. And then we 
want to make sure that we have a, a gutter. I really like that a lot <laughs> this is the fabric that keeps keeps on giving too you guys talk about the gift bag okay so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna sand this edge okay and that's so that the glue and the fabric will stick is what started all this and then I really like the way it looked with the paint chipping off. Okay, so I have that. Okay, so we're going to clean this off. bring it back okay so both sides are distressed we distressed both both covers front and back let's go ahead and we'll come here it off the front. Oh well. Okay. So putting it down again. Okay. On the line down here. Okay. On the line. Put it down. Make sure we have a gutter. Make sure we're on the line. Pull this back. I always end up with more fabric on the back. Okay, then. Okay, let's pull the frayed edges out. Very good. And we'll add this. know that it goes over pretty far. Okay. And you know, we can use white acrylic paint in <coughs> the in the journal. I might use white acrylic paint on the pictures. It came from the dust jacket. Okay, so there's that. I like it. I like it distressed. I like it distressed. What do you think about distressing the glossy book? Okay, so we're going to let this dry and check this down here one more time. Go ahead and pull this one across one more time. Make sure we are straight. Make sure that we are straight on the line over here. Okay. And But it is sticking. Yay. Go ahead and give it another dose of glue.
Okay, I'm back and I've turned it over. I'm on the other side and we're going to go ahead and kind of do the same thing again. Um, we are going to use our piece of fabric. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and I want it a little bigger on this inside, and that's because of um, this little bird thing that I did over here, this little pocket. So there we go, and go ahead and get the frayed edges off. We're saving our frayed edges in on this journal. I have something I want to do with them. So, okay. So this time we want to make sure that there it is. Okay. We're going to go ahead and come all the way over here on this front piece. We want to put glue down into the gutter and I'm going to put glue across the, the new spine. Okay. It's really cool. Once you learn how to make a book, I mean, there is, it's endless what you'll be able to make. You know, you can make journals you could do scrapbooking this way you can um, you know anything that you're trying to keep track of or you could write a book in it <laughs> okay so I want to come over to the edge on this okay there's that. Then I'm going to come in and I want to flatten out. There's a wrinkle. I'll flatten out the wrinkle. Okay. It's okay. Okay. I like it. I like it. I like it. And then we're going to come over here. And we're going to give the back. Okay, so it's kind of cool to get to use the, um, the end pages that actually came with the book this time. They're pretty. They will go along with my theme. And then I can also use the inside cover pages. Like I said, I'll be able to use those. For tags or pockets and to give that look throughout. So here we're going to go ahead and pull in the gutter. And the gutter is important because you want to be able to open and close your book. And that's why there's a gutter. Okay. I usually use a pen top. I wonder if I have one in there drawer today. Uh, here's a coffee stir thingy. So making sure we're, we're down and I will figure out something for the back. Um, make sure that we open and close. Oh yeah, I'm very, very happy with it. Yeah, I like, I like what we got going on here. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and let this dry. And so if you're here for the premiere, I'm waving hello. And everybody say hi to Chip. Hi Chip. He's, he's really glad we stayed home, I think. 
and didn't take our little vacation um, he's all of a sudden decided he's afraid of fireworks if you're here after the premiere we'd love to invite you to, to come to a premiere there every day at 10 30 and then while we're home safer at home we have our beginners junk journal series at four o'clock each day so this whole video started because I needed the pages. So we're going to set this aside and let it continue to dry. And I am going to pull out the pages. So I've already taken some out, but let me show you how, what I did. Okay. So, um, this, this book is bound okay so it has signatures it has several small signatures they only have four pages in each signature so let's go ahead and I think I had one left find the center of this signature look at those beautiful bird houses okay so you see it's just got four um, binding spots interesting that they're separated out like that but I'm just going to go ahead and just like we do with like the composition books and things I'm just going to go ahead and come in and do this and um, one of the reasons that I chose this book was I was like well I can use the pages as um, part of the journal and they're there's some beautiful images and and then some pages that just have some I mean look at that isn't that gorgeous just gorgeous so we're able to pull this out and what I needed was I needed to have an idea of what how big my um, side by side pages needed to be like my wallpaper and the large ledger paper that I have is it going to be big enough and so I like to do that by just measuring the book pages if I was able to pull the book pages out so this one okay so this is the fourth one and you can see it's glued to the next the next one so what you can do is I am going to go ahead these cover pages again I'm gonna get to use those for um, for tags or something but you see there is a side-by-side -side page it's glued to this next one now sometimes I'm able to get these out and they're a little rough okay it will be a little rough but I was able to get it out and that gives me another side-by-side -side page okay so um, if if they don't come out if it if it's too rough or it rips that's okay because it gives me a single one so this one actually brought out part of the glued binding so I don't know that I would use that as a side-by-side -side page um, but we'll see. Okay. So this one. Okay. There we go. I love this one. I think I actually want to put this in my stuff for the daisy. At first I was like, oh my gosh, that'll make such a great, um, envelope. And then I saw that was on the other side, and I was like, oh, no. So it's going to be something. I don't know if I'll use it in this or if I'll save it for... I have been collecting daisy stuff, so there we go. And then, again, this one also, that's just, that's part of it. That it, it's This one is glued in. So... Uh, you know the the inside and outside pages of the signature will be glued into the actual book but look at that isn't it? oh my gosh so these are the pages that you just saw me take out 
And then I have a stack of the other pages that I was able, and these are all side-by-side -side pages. So there's some pictures, and then I was able to get the pattern ones as well, which I think are going to be really fun and add some interest to this journal. So I have taken the pages out, which was the whole reason for doing this. And um, let's see. So my book is 7 and 15 sixteenths by 15 and um, 7 eighths. Okay. So that's the size of the book that I am working with here and um, for side-by-side -side pages. So there we go. So let's go ahead and bring back the cover that we're still waiting for it to dry so that we can go on. But I absolutely love it. And I... I think it's amazing. Our two and a half inch spine, that's like two and a half inch spine is my friend. <laughs> I did cut down the ends and glued them down. I'll need to um, trim them down a little more once the um, once they're dry. But that is, that is my cover. Um, so, Thank you all for being here. Have an amazing day and got junk. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.